The reputation of Australia's banks have taken a battering this year and now their profits are copping it too. The Commonwealth Bank's full year profit has plunged by half a billion dollars. The price of making good with customers they ripped off. Eight and a half billion dollars profit. It's still a big number but it's been a bad year for the CBA, the worst in six years. They're one-off items that we wouldn't expect going into future periods but the economic environment is, is different, the context is different. Now the job is to rebuild not just the bank's reputation but also its profit. They absolutely want to get this behind them and get on with business, get back to making profits. Banks are also facing the headwind of a slowing housing market with fewer new home loans being written. For any customer who sees any asset, including the house in particular that they're living in, fall in value, that's of concern to them. Around one in 30 Commonwealth Bank home loan customers is in negative equity. In other words, if forced to sell, they couldn't pay off their mortgage. I do think there's some positive signs and stabilisation in the housing market, which is of course very important. In recent times, the company sold off its interest in financial planning, funds management and insurance to get back to banking. But today it paid nearly $150 million to buy into a new business, Clamour, the Swedish rival of Buy Now, Pay Later service Afterpay, Australia's hottest company. The Commonwealth Bank is looking to move on. Absolutely focused on legacy issues, fixing them and making sure they never happen again. But there was a word of warning today from two of the men who fought hard for the Royal Commission. I am confident they're going to get it right, but I don't share the same amount of confidence it's going to stay right. Quite honestly, even with the best of intentions, it's, it's like turning the Titanic. It does not turn on a sixpence. So as a result of that profit today, it was lower than the market expected. Commonwealth Bank shares fell 1.3% on a day when the other bank shares were going up. They were going up because the Bank of New Zealand, uh, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, cut its interest rates by a surprise half a percent. But that led the Australian dollar to its new 10-year lows below 67 US cents. Pete? Ross, thank you.